and welcome back. Um, in today's uh, lesson, we're going to be talking about how to clean up pencil sketch in Illustrator. So I'm going to go to File, New, and now I want to name my new document, Character 01, so that way I can do different versions, 02, 03, and so forth, 17 by 11, making sure that the orientation is horizontal. Click OK. Now we're going to go into File, Place. Here's my sketch. I'm going to make sure it's linked. reason why is because I don't want Illustrator to embed it. We just need a mere reference. Hold it down Shift. I'm going to drag to keep my proportions. Now I'm going to go into my layers. Click on the blue area. Make sure I name that one layer sketch. And I'm going to make it a template. Now this being a template, as you guys notice, it deems the image about 50%. So this is perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to approach the figure. I'm going to try to go with the bigger shape using my pen tool. Okay, And pretty much at this point, what we're going to be doing is tracing our image. All right, so we're going to press the letter Z to zoom in, and then the letter P to use our pen tool. For those of you who have not used the pen tool, you know, it does take a little bit of practice. I'm not going to be too concerned of being too perfect here. To better view our image, let's switch to outline by pressing Ctrl Y. Right now, this is going to switch modes. This way, it's going to be easier for me to see what I'm doing. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and do this part. Now, notice that I'm not too concerned about that little square down there. We can always get rid of that later. So now we're going to try to see if we can approach the main. Okay, so using the pen tool. Now, by using a combination of clicking and dragging, we can use the pen tool very efficiently. Okay, here, if I want to control independent Bezier handles, the only thing I need to do is hold down Alt on the keyboard, and this will allow me to create very sharp edges. That's looking good. Okay, again, let me do it right here. Okay, there's many ways that um, you can approach this. Right, I'm just showing you the way that works better for me. And over here, we're pretty much going to be tracing our image. And we're going to keep on going. Okay, so we're going to make things a little bit faster. So it does get a little bit repetitive. So you can always do the whole image and then manipulate it as you go, or you can wait till later, up to you. The one thing you don't want to do is leaving open-ended path. So you can always go back and make sure all of them are connected, and then close your object. Okay, and now I'm able to edit it much easier. At this point, I'm going to jump into my progress so far. Let me go ahead and uh, send that to the back, that actual main, which should be all the way in the back. There we go. That's good. Oh, okay, so let's go ahead and approach the next bigger object, which is the Mandrill's face. All right, he does have a little bit of a goatee in there. I'm going to be using the pencil tool for that one. Okay, and now I'm going to be using the pen tool to create the rest of the facial features. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you 
a really cool tool. I use this quite often. And this one is called the blending shape tool. First off, go ahead and make sure that you select all the objects we're going to blend together. This means that uh, we're ready to start blending some of these shapes. So we just need to click and drag, click and drag, and click and drag. Right, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay. Now there might be some areas that we might have to zoom in to really get just right. Okay. Now, and essentially what this does is pretty much cuts into those objects, making them fit perfectly into our image here. Next, we're gonna grab the ellipse tool and we're gonna go ahead and make the eyeballs. And then we're gonna do two open path for the eyebrows. Okay. Making sure everything is adjusted correctly. Creating that open path for the brow. Some of the wrinkles the eye bags All right. I do a combination of pencil tool and pen tool for those ones so over here is looking pretty good we might have to adjust some of this now I'm going to be using the eyedropper tool to copy some of the attributes that these objects have and at this point I'm ready to move on with the actual nose area of them and drill. using the pencil tool to create more organic objects in combination with the pen tool for things that I want to be a little bit more precise. Okay. All right, that's looking about right. Probably gonna add this area right here. Some of the canines, making sure they actually touch the lip so they're not just floating on the air. Okay, well, that's looking pretty good. Here to fine tune, we're going to be using now the width tool. Um, this is going to give a little bit of weight variation in the lines we're using. So, this tool right here, Shift W, you can just click and drag. That's one way of doing. The second way of doing it is just by clicking the actual path, open path. Um, now it's important to keep in mind that you need the actual uh, direct selection tool for this. Okay, um, now you can go into uniform and you can take that one and Illustrator as a default already has it for you. So it's just as simple as clicking and dragging making sure that you have the actual object selected. Our next step is gonna be to make those eyebrows nice and thick. The way we can do that is by selecting the open path and then going into the stroke adding about two points width from this point on it's just going to be fine tuning 
So let's go ahead and make sure we edit the path and the anchor points. Making sure the Bessier handles are in the right positions. So there's going to be a little bit of editing here before we finalize it. And we're probably going to be changing the line weight on these objects as well. Almost there. Now we're going to approach the ears which at this point should be pretty easy. Very similar to what we have been doing so far. Gotta make sure that we have the right curves, adding details. And then, instead of doing this whole object again, I'm gonna go ahead and group it and duplicate it. And at this point, this is just going to be fine tuning, making sure the details look just right. It's all about the details. So we got to make sure that um, we're approaching them. And here we have a great example where the fur is going in the wrong direction. So all I need to do is move some anchor points around and see the results. So it should be pretty easy. Same here. I probably want that to be a little bit more rounder. Okay. Same thing here, moving the Bessier handles, making sure it's looking round and not choppy. And we're going to be repeating the same steps on the other side of the mane or beard for our character. Now, um, let's go ahead and use uh, the pencil tool. Remember that uh, shortcut is the letter N. Now for the next one, I'm gonna try the pen tool. Um, I do like the fact that I have more precision over it. And from this point on, noticing that these objects are quite similar, just duplicating it will make it just fine. Kind of like that shape better, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate those, erase the pencil ones. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make them a little bit random. So we have more variations there. It's looking pretty well. Now again, approaching details. Let's go with that uh, open stroke to create that line that should go across the headpiece. Same thing here. Getting rid of that white and then duplicating that line throughout the mask. The tools um, I'm switching here back and forth are the selection tool and the direct selection tool. rotate that a little bit. Now creating the eye. Over here we're going to create the second eye. Now we got to make sure that that second eye we send it right to the back. Okay, so send that backwards. It's a little too much there. I'm going to be rotating doing the same technique in this area. Duplicate the same object here. Using the lips tool a couple of times. And over here we're just gonna be tweaking it. Alright. Repeating the same steps.
and now just using the pencil tool to create those strings right and so and in this area using the pen tool making sure the line looks correct probably pushing this area forward getting rid of any extra anchor points we may not need so here we are finalized version pretty happy about that let's go ahead and take a look at the final product and all I did here was adding a little bit thicker stroke on the outline thanks for watching See you next time.